Well, how does it feel to just be back and getting into the swing of things? Uh, it's great. I mean, I'm glad the weather's finally took a turn and we got you know some sun and some and some uh, some decent weather here. It wasn't it wasn't wasn't very good for a little time though. But uh, no, it's exciting. You know, uh, you know this time of year it's it's about you know, getting you know getting the players back, um, spending time with them, building the team, which starts now. Um, you know, building that camaraderie uh, and building the relationships that you need to have a good team. Uh, so it's been good. You know, I'm excited. I, I know, obviously, I'm passionate about this game. Um, I'm passionate about coaching. I'm passionate about coaching this team. And, uh, you know, it's good to be out here with the, with the players and really with our coaching staff because we've got a great staff. I want to go back to the question I was asking you earlier. Um, when you were a player, how would you describe the way you played and do you take anything from your playing days with uh, the way you coach now? Uh, I would say the one thing, I, w I was tough. I wasn't very good. I wasn't very fast. Um, and I was an undersized player, but I was tough. Um, and I would take that away from my, you know, if there's anything there, you know, I would say that's my coaching style. I'm tough on the players. Um, because I think you need to have a... You need to be tough on them so they can be disciplined because you, you, you need discipline to play this game. Um, only other thing I'd say is, you know, I try to think as a player, you know, what's the best way to teach this? What's the best technique for this specific player? Um, I think every coach does that. You know? But do you think it helps you? Yeah. Sorry. Do you think that? Do you think it helps you having? been, you know, in a linebacker's shoes, mm -hmm. as opposed to some coaches who either didn't play the game or didn't play that position right. when it comes to, you know, relaying information to a player who can say, yeah, you know, he yeah. knows what I've been to. To a degree, uh, but I'd also say that playing linebacker at Boston College is very different than playing linebacker in the Patriots. Uh, but, you know, there's definitely some similarities and carry over there. And uh, as much as I can implement it, and if I feel like it works, or it's something that, you know, will help them get better or help them understand something, you know, I'll, I'll use it. And uh, more of a personal question, like if you were to think of one lesson that you've learned from mom, what would stand out to you of probably many lessons? From so my mother? Yeah. My mother's the toughest person I know. Um, she's actually battling cancer now. Um, and she's just, she's just, she's just, it's like it doesn't phase her at all, you know. She just gets up every day and tries to, uh, you know, she's beating. And every day she gets up and says, I'm beating this. This is, is, is not an issue, basically. Uh, so, I mean, she's as tough as they come. And, uh, you know, and we talked about, you know, you know, that's the one thing that I feel like I've taken from her um, that's helped me, you know, in all walks of life, all walks of life. personally, professionally. Um, I'm soft for my kids. I swear. <laughs> she wasn't soft on me. I'm soft on my kids. Good luck. Once Good luck. Can I just get your general thoughts on the defense and like, some of the personnel changes? I mean, my general thoughts right now are we're working on fundamentals, um, footwork, hand uh, tackling, playing the deep ball. Uh, it's so early that it's, you know, it's hard to form general thoughts. Um, but we're just, we've got to work. I mean, right now it's, it's about, you know, building a team and working to a, a to a, to the level we want to get to, you know what I mean? Working to build to the level we want to get to. Right now, it's all foundational, um, which starts with fundamentals. So that's kind of where we're at. Brian, right. sorry, what, what kind of characteristics would you like a, a Brian Flores coached unit to exemplify? Um, well, this is going to sound like a Bill Belichick coach team. I'm tough, smart, dependable, and can play under pressure. So, you know. That's been a good formula. I'll, I'll, I'll go with that one. And for you personally, I mean, transitioning to a bigger role with the defense, how has that adjustment been? I mean, I know it hasn't really kicked into full gear yet because you said you're kind of getting to know the players and stuff, but just how has it been for you so far? Again, every year is different to me, you know. Every year is, is a little bit, um, there's some transition, there's some um, things that are different. So um, this year, you know, it, to me it's similar to, to other years. And that's kind of where I'm at. Again, you know, it's, my goal in coaching is to, yeah, I've said this before, is to you know, 
help guys become the best version of themselves on the field and off. Um, on the practice field and meetings. Uh, that's my goal. Um, and and um, that's what I'm working towards right now. Uh, so, What can you do to kind of put your own stamp? You know, you mentioned it was a Bill Belichick answer you were about to give, but what can you do to, to put your own stamp on whatever group it is you're coaching? I was asked this earlier, and again. Sorry about that. No, no problem. This is a team game, you know what I mean? It's hard for me to think that I'm, I would put my own imprint on anything. Um, it's a team imprint. You know, that's my feeling on that. Um, so it's just, it's hard to, to say, you know, what your own personal, like, no, I mean, it's a team imprint. This defense will, you know, uh, become what it becomes as a team, not because of me or because of anyone, but because of the, the, the guys in that room. Um, you know, building from right now uh, into the OTAs, into training camp, into the preseason games, and then building and building and building, and that's kind of, you know, it'll be a team in play, I'll say that.